We all know how important it is to vaccinate your kids, but vaccines are important for us adults as well. We don't outgrow the need. So Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer, is back to help explain why. Welcome back. Thank you. Always great to be back. And this is such an important issue. The numbers are startling. 45,000 people each year die from a vaccine preventable illness. And we just want to know why adults won't get vaccinated. Let's take a look at why, or at least what some people said was the reason they didn't vaccinate. Vaccinations. Um, I don't think I've gotten any recently, but I'm pretty sure I got them as a kid. I got my daughter vaccinated, but it's, it's been years since I got my vaccinations. And now that I'm a mom, it's just, I, I just don't have time for myself anymore. To be honest, I haven't gotten any vaccination because I just hate shots. Let me address the first person, because that is not an uncommon way to think. Childhood immunizations, done. But you should really check with your doctor to see whether or not you need a booster or whether or not some vaccines that you had in the past have been updated. There's no guarantee that when you were protected when you were young and were vaccinated years ago, that you're still protected as an adult. Plus, there are many vaccines that weren't available many years ago that are available now. It's very true. And that mom we just saw, parents need to know this. By not getting vaccinated, you may be putting not only yourself, but get this, your kids are then at risk. For example, let's take pertussis, also known popularly as whooping cough. It's a disease. It can be very dangerous, even deadly for little ones. So anyone around infants or young children, you need to talk to your doc about making sure that you're immunized against pertussis. You might need a booster. Well, the CDC also recommends that everyone older than six months should get vaccinated with an annual flu shot. But get this, only a little over one third of all people 18 and older got a flu shot last year. If you're sick, guess what? You can't take care of your kids, can you? No, you're bedridden. So parents, you have to make time for your health as well. And let me address the last person that spoke because people who are afraid of shots or who are uncomfortable getting shots, they are not alone. Only about 15% of people over 60 actually got a vaccination against shingles, that painful rash that occurs that's caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox. So about a half million people are affected by shingles each year. 20 to 30% of them may develop pain that lasts for months or even a lifetime. And there's a vaccination that may prevent some of that suffering. So if you're over 65, you also want to talk to your doctor about, doctor about the pneumococcal vaccination that protects against several types of pneumonia. Unfortunately, adult vaccination rates are alarmingly low. It's, a, it's an important public health problem. Um, but many adults, as you've seen, are but potentially unprotected or not adequately protected. Which actually brings me to ask you, have you had your... <laughs> That's right. Have you had your annual flu shot? Well, I, I actually did it on the show. I don't know if you all oh, saw, okay. but I got the, the vaccine. Come on, man up. Woo! Well, thank you very much. And since you were such a good patient... Oh, I even got a lollipop. You got a lollipop. What about you? Okay, yes, yes, and I've got proof too. Check it out. Oh, we even got a thumbs up. Adult vaccines that you need, it depends on everything from your age, your lifestyle, to if you have a high-risk medical condition, maybe your travel plans, or which shots you've had in the past. So for a list of recommended adult vaccinations, visit HealthierWorld.com. And be sure to talk with your doc about what vaccines or boosters you may need. And develop, this is important, develop a system to keep track mm -hmm. of you and your family's vaccine history. Of course, you can also log on to thedoctorstv.com for more information. Thank yeah. you so very uh, much. Always, always a pleasure.